What's going on, everybody? I have came across Jordan Klepper, Fingers to Conspiracy, Hunter Biden's laptop. This is a little bit of a longer video. It's an hour and 17 minutes and 45 seconds, which with me talking and I don't shut the fuck up, uh, it'll probably take about three, three and a half hours. So uh, I'm thinking we cut this into a three to four part episode. I'm going to drop it every Sunday. So subscribe, like, throw me some comments. So that way we can talk about some stuff. But uh, I, this looked really interesting to me, and I like Jordan Klepper's take on things. I like uh, He's a very intelligent person, obviously super fucking hilarious. So let's go ahead and give it a watch. Jordan Klepper fingers the conspiracy, Hunter Biden's laptop. It should be interesting. Here's a relatable question. Okay. You ever get a job that you weren't totally qualified for? Definitely. I know I have. Turns out not everyone's <laughs> like cut my out first to job. be a thoracic surgeon. But maybe things would have turned out differently. I got a job as a telemarketer when I first uh, first started uh, looking for work when I was about 18 years old. I should not have had that job. I did really bad at it. I would call people and be like, would you like some tickets to Razzie Bailey? They'd be like, I'm in the middle of my fucking dinner. And I, I'm sorry. Sorry. Nope. Nope. Go ahead. Sorry. Hang up on me. We used to go around to each person at the end and the person would shout out how much money they make. Like they'd be like, Bill, a hundred bucks, Tom, 150 bucks, Janet, $300. And they get to me and they go, John, I got, I got a, I got a $5 donation. And actually this is a true story. My boss actually looked at me and he goes, no, no, you didn't. I go, I didn't. I go, yeah, I got a $5 donation. He goes, no. No, I called the lady because they called to confirm. And uh, she actually said she just felt bad for you. And she doesn't want to give you the $5 donation. So that was a $0 night for me. And uh, I didn't actually get fired from that job. I quit it. And then my boss is actually sad to see me go. So, yeah. Yeah, I've been there before. <laughs> for me if I had a famous dad. Like I wish I had a famous dad. president of the United States. Fuck you doing, dad? This is the focal point of the Republican conspiracy theory around Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. That he used his connection to his dad, Joe Biden, to make money in yeah. overseas deals. And yes, obviously, this is coming from the people who supported Donald Trump and his family as they milked every government connection <laughs> they could for four years, like an Ocean's Eleven movie if it took place uh, during a Nickelodeon shopping spree. Did. Dude, that's so true, though. Like, Donald Trump went full Napoleon. Like he, like Napoleon, uh, you know, part of his downfall was that he kept putting uh, his family members in positions that they weren't qualified to be in, like in charge of armies, in charge of countries, and just fucking up everything. Uh, Donald Trump did the same shit, man. Like, dude, he put his like family members everywhere, and people were okay with that. Like, I don't understand how people can be upset about this dude. And, and I mean, I understand why you're upset about him, but not be upset about what happened with Trump and, and, and vice versa. Like, it's fucking crazy that like people like y the disassociation of the fact that Hunter Biden obviously is doing some shit that he shouldn't have been doing or that's acceptable, but shouldn't be acceptable. But Donald Trump 100 percent did it like fucking 400 times what Joe Biden has done. It's crazy. Now, if that reference is too far removed for you then apologies in about advance, 11. because the hunter biden story Never has so many it. references to things that seem fake cafe milano sino hawk the secret willard hotel breakfast that we probably <laughs> should have made a that hunter one. wiki ahead of time just to help you through it yeah this is jordan klepper fingers the conspiracy we got a packed episode today we're going to walk through the conspiracy theory known as hunter biden's laptop with a fox news expert then Democratic okay. Congressman Jerry Connolly will discuss the House's strategy responding to an investigation. And then Tiffany Cross will talk the media's responsibility. And before we even start, you should know that it's not even proven there is a laptop. There is a hard drive copied from what a Trump supporter who owns a computer repair shop in Delaware says was a laptop. Oh, okay. Hold on. Th hashtag Patriot. Like, is this this dude's real, real shop? He's got a mask. Got a mass sign. We all had that shit up. There's another mass sign. Dude, we we have we have entered the age of the signs with the COVID thing, man. It, the store I work in had so many signs, like all over the store, everywhere. Had a couple on the front door. Had one on a sandwich board outside. Like no one reads signs. <laughs> we are desensitized to signs. Oh my god. All right. So this is where the dude works. This is the dude who found. 
Star, All right, he fa- so he found the laptop. Proven there okay, I don't know a lot a about laptop. this, so you guys are going to help there me out. There is a hard drive, copied from what a Trump supporter who owns a computer repair shop in Delaware says shop. was a laptop that he handed over to the FBI, but nobody's seen a picture of it, and what the hell, let's just take his word for it. The Hunter Biden laptop saga at. is a fantastical right-wing reverie concocted during the 2020 campaign by Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, and of course, Fox News. Which means it's inevitable that I heard the words Hunter Biden laptop constantly at Trump yep, rallies. Yeah, Even if the people there didn't exactly know what it oh, is. Oh, here we go. Here you we go. You can see on you know, Fox and, and One American News about the, uh, the laptop, the Hunter Biden's laptop, and then uh, all the corruption taking money from the different countries you know, from russia and china then joe biden would do whatever i do believe this is like the definition of incoherent rambling <laughs> these countries needed well, what did right. he do oh he what either what he did or did not do what didn't what did he do i'm That's lost we determined exactly what he did i saw pedophilia in china something like that do you believe it Wait, he saw pedophilia in China? That is some creative editing. Ooh, what is wrong with that man's face? What, what, what do you mean he saw pedophilia in China? Like Pedophilia in China? Something like that? Do you believe it? Like he saw that? I don't know. We on on a laptop? Like the, the Hunter Biden scandal. What exactly happened with that? I think they, they found a laptop that had, you know, emails in. Um, who was it? FBI. They found a laptop right. with, like, emails and pictures of, you know, Biden talking with like Ukraine and China about business deals and stuff like that. Which Biden? Okay. Uh, Hunter Biden. Did something happen? I mean, consp- conspiracy theorists would say that it's Joe Biden and Hunter Biden communicating with you know outside countries on business deals and stuff like that. Are you calling him a conspiracy? So, like a lot of shit happens in government like that. I mean, I mean you know, I, I guess what I struggle with is like, what part of this is different? Like, because the whole point is like. They're trying to be like, you should be mad about this. You should be super pissed off about this. And I'm trying to figure out what is different between what Hunter Biden has done and all the other garbage ass politicians and the things that they've done as well, including the ones that are trying to get you super worked up about this. Because if we're mad at all the people about this, then, then I hear what you're saying. But but if you're just trying to get me mad at Hunter Biden about this, like Hunter Biden isn't running for president. Uh, so... I don't know. Uh, someone's going to have to help me out with this. Hunter Biden communicating with, you know, outside countries on business deals and stuff like that. Are you calling him a conspiracy theorist? That's just what he said. <laughs> right. Okay, let's help these private investigators out a little bit. Joining me today is yeah. Andrew Lawrence, the deputy director of rapid response at Media Matters for America. Basically, that means he watches Fox News all day. Andrew, thanks for being here to talk about the laptop from hell. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to uh, finger this conspiracy with you. Oh, it sounds sexy when you say it. <laughs> He's a Tampa Bay Rays fan, so I don't, I don't know if I can trust this dude. I mean, a suspect. Thank so you. Hunter Biden is sexy. It's a sexy top. He is. He is, is a he? sexy man. He's all <laughs> over. Uh, if 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 you. Okay, so the only thing I know about Hunter Biden's laptop is that there's like super sexy time pictures all over the place and pictures of him doing crack. So pretty much. The way I look at it is if you have a laptop, you probably have some pictures on it that are pretty personal in nature, right? Like pretty personal stuff. So I, I don't I don't know that that's that, that crazy. Like, is that that crazy? That dude has, I mean, dude's a crackhead. That sucks. Like, I, f- I feel bad for him, actually. And dude, you know, obviously, you know, he has some sex. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be mad at you. I don't want to see your pictures though. Please, please don't show me your pictures. So I mean, but other than that, this shit just seems kind of normal. Oh, it sounds sexy when you say it. it. Thank so you. Hunter Biden is sexy. It's a sexy top. He is. He is a sexy man. He's all <laughs> over. Uh, if 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 you're into pinup dudes and Whoa. Fox News, he's your guy. <laughs> and Fox uh, News. I want to jump into <laughs> it because House Republicans are about to become the majority. And they've announced that they're going to investigate Hunter Biden. So let's start with just establishing who Hunter Biden is, because some of the things Hunter Biden has. If we're going to if we're going to investigate Hunter Biden, all I'm saying is, can we investigate the rest of the motherfuckers, too? I don't have any problem with that. I just I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Right. Like, I mean, if we're going to if we're going to deal with some fucking corruption, then let's deal with it. 
Let's fucking let's let's investigate everybody. Uh, I want to jump into it because House Republicans are about to become the majority and they've announced that they're going to investigate Hunter Biden. So let's start with just establishing who Hunter Biden is, because some of the things Hunter Biden has done are probably not very becoming of a son of a public official, like using the Biden family name to make foreign business deals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that a good place to start? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's fair to say that um, Hunter Biden is, you know, he's essentially a fail son. Um, I, I think. Wow. Um, <laughs> God, that's he's harsh. Had a it's lot of harsh. tough things happen to him in his life. You know, I think that uh, it's it's fairly well known Joe Biden's uh, history of tragedy with. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe it was his wife dying in a in a car accident. Yeah. I know Hunter was involved in that, and and, um, and you know that's something that's going to affect you. And then. Uh, his brother, Bo Biden, as well, yep. uh, passing from from cancer not all that long ago. Um, and that's sort of so. So and this is something that I think about when I hear all this stuff about Hunter Biden and how people are going in on him. It's like so this dude lost his mom in a car accident and he lost his brother to cancer. And I don't know if that's why he turned to drugs. You know, I don't know if that's why his life has kind of gone downhill a bit, but that's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up how fucked up we are to this dude. Like you, you put in his inter his pictures all over the internet of like his personal life and stuff, all because you don't like Joe Biden because you don't because he's your political enemy and you you like man like think about that as you imagine if that was you, and you've gone through this trauma, and then somebody got a hold of your laptop and posted a bunch of pictures of you being a crackhead. Like God damn, that is messed up. That is crazy to me. I mean, the dude's not the one for running for office. Like I said, if he's done some shit, some some foul shit behind the scenes and whatever, but, like, holy shit, man. Like, we don't have any, like, sympathy for in people, do we? In a car accident, we? I know Hunter was involved in that, and, and, um, and you know, that's something that's going to affect you. And then uh, his brother, Bo Biden, as well, uh, passing from, from cancer not all that long ago. Um, and that's sort of when, according to what I've seen, his, his tailspin really began. Um, but you know, I, I think okay, like so. you're right. Like it is fair to say fuck, man. That, that there is, there, there's some questionable things there that Republicans and right wing media are trying to, to glom onto this as some sort of giant scandal that's going to bring down mm -hmm. Joe Biden and the democratic party is, uh, is a little bit ridiculous. And I mean, there, there's so much to get into the weeds here. Uh, you know, you, you got into it a little bit with that, that nobody's really even seen this laptop yet. Um, and here we are with months and months. What's it been? And dude, for all the conspiracies out there, people would be like, ah, yeah, but it does exist. We know it exists. It's like, aren't you guys like the conspiracy people? Are you the people that are like, if it doesn't matter if 100,000 doctors say that the COVID vaccine are safe, if two says it's not, then then it might not be. I'm like, okay, well, all right, well, this dude and this dude just said that the laptop don't exist. Where do we go from here? It's <laughs> been like two years now since this first came up. I mean, I think it is, it is fascinating. What, part of the reasons we wanted to cover it, one, I'm running into people on the road, and it's always a go-to, Hunter Biden. Mm -hmm. And more often than not, the stuff that I run into with people on the road, what is the dodge? What is the quickest thing you can grab a hold on to? It's easy to say Hunter Biden laptop. It's harder to say what Hunter Biden's laptop contains. But I think it is fascinating because I also think on the left, the left is trying as hard as they can not to address what yeah. is potentially on this laptop Dude. and some of the allegations. And so this is why I like Klepper, right? Because he ain't full of shit. Like, he's he's actually trying to, like, suss out the details and figure this out. He knows that people on the left as well are all of a sudden, like, they don't want to say anything. They don't want to talk about it. You know, like, what's the reasoning behind it? Do you have, like, firm actual reasons behind it? Or is it just, like, you know, you're just, like, deny, deny, deny? Like, we could use some truth, man. We could use some honesty from our politicians. We could use, like, just... Five minutes of them not being the facade that helps them keep their job. Like, I would love love to, you know, uh, see more people act this way to to not just pick one side, but to, to on the sit left, here and actually. The left is trying as hard it. as they can not to address what is potentially on this laptop and some of the allegations, which are some some dire allegations. Yeah. Now, I need a download on. What I need to know about this, where the reality is, where we should be suspicious, and what is the bullshit people are slinging at the board to try to distract? Yeah, where should we be? Yeah, so, I'm with that. So you're helping me out here with Hunter Biden. I do think it is. It's important to, to point out. It is true. He's he's gone through a lot of tragedy in his life. 
Mm -hmm. If we've seen images, he's he's dealt with uh, drug addiction. Yeah. Um, you say we can see he's crack about that in the book. A lot of these things are things that he verifies and talks openly about. Um, he himself. Uh, Although I do have to ask this: Who the fuck takes pictures of himself with a crack pipe? <laughs> I guess crackheads. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, you're not supposed to like to take pictures of that shit, <laughs> right? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe crackheads take selfies. I don't know. A I tragedy guess. in his life. I guess if we've seen images. He's he's dealt with uh, drug addiction mm -hmm. um, publicly. He's written about that in a book. A lot of these things are things that he verifies and of talks he's openly about. about. Um, he himself uh, is an attorney, and he's been a no foreign shit. lobbyist. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. And that's where some of this this drama starts to to. And he's currently out. under investigation in Delaware as well for I believe it's tax fraud. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but it's something like. That. And I think that's that's an important thing too when they talk about Hunter Biden being under investigation. It's, I don't want to belittle tax fraud. God bless. <laughs> right. Investigate that tax fraud. Not for me, though. I, 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 all of my tax fraud comes from imbecility. I, yeah. I really don't know. If I ever fucked up on my taxes, before, so. I didn't do it on purpose, man. So don't come at me. That's just, that's my naivete. I'm uh, just bad. But so Hunter Biden is under <laughs> investigation, but not exactly for the stuff that Republicans are arguing. So we got nepotism. Yeah, we got see, and, and that's perfect because that's, that's, that's the sound bar right there, right? Like, you start talking to somebody and you're like, dude, like there's really nothing that seems that bad about this laptop. And they go, he's under investigation. Like they don't know what for though. They just know he is because Fox news had a banner on the bottom that said Hunter Biden under investigation. <laughs> Corruption. We got hardware repair. We got Ukrainian gas companies. What, what does that say about the nature of this conspiracy theory? Well, I, I think you know, we can take this. The Hunter Biden laptop is like the latest thing, right? Uh -huh. And so yep. you had in, that's in my this, problem. Every election, it seems the, the Republican Party and conservative media are looking for something to grab hold of. And you said it yourself. Or and, and that goes for the Democrats as well. Like both sides do that each each election cycle, midterm, whatever it is, like both sides try to find that one thing. It's the taxes or it's the emails or fucking whatever. It's laptop earlier that that people are fired up about this but they don't really know why right they know hunter biden's laptop is something that they should be they should be upset about yeah that, you've been told to be mad something nefarious there but you can take a look back at you know the um uh her emails same yeah thing. you know fucking Hillary really clinton's emails what was what was wrong with that but they knew that there was something <laughs> wrong with it um uh, it proved her untrustworthiness. Same thing with you can go back to. It's also the, it also proves how little people know about technology. The fact that yeah, you can say it's like old people and think. laptop. It's as if America is just a bunch of seventy four year old grandparents yeah. who lost a remote and are like, oh, I don't know. It's crazy. Just, it's the witches just, and devils, right? That's who controls the the magnets. It's the magnets. Who could ever figure these things out? But you just described the Republican base, right? Yeah. Thing, right. For the most part, yeah. I mean, that's and, older and, white and people. And so they they hear Hunter Biden, they hear laptop, and. It's it just sounds it just sounds nefarious and then all right and then you throw into this was uncovered by a, a laptop repairman who contacted the fbi and and talked to the fbi and you know it all the deep states involved in this now and it's all of these little buzz do they love that word the deep state the deep state like dude like it's like a it's like it's like fantasy role play you know what I'm saying? Like, like people who just, you know, have you guys ever noticed that every time that this shit happens, no one ever gets in trouble? Like tax, uh, Trump doesn't get in trouble for his taxes or taking home the documents. Hillary doesn't get in trouble. Uh, Biden's not, no, none of these politicians actually get in trouble. Dude, Matt gets like fucking paid for sex with a 17 year old girl or some shit like that. Didn't get in trouble. I, he's still fucking doing his thing. He's still doing his thing. It's fucking insanity. Words that they've they've spent years, you know, making these into buzzwords, making these into yep. things that Republican voters uh, just have a reaction to, a visceral reaction just hearing these words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, at this point, and I know we're going to get into the investigations and stuff like that, but if you remember back with Benghazi, I believe it was Kevin McCarthy, he was bragging about how there would not have been her emails without the Benghazi investigations. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers yeah, are see, dropping. Why? See, this is the thing. They don't give a shit if she did anything bad. They don't. 
They just want you to be mad about it. They want me to be mad about it because they just want her to lose. It's not about like actually, uh, you know, justice. It's about them winning. It's about them winning. Cause here's the thing. If they punish her, they're going to have to get punished themselves because they're all doing the same shit, man. They're all doing bad shit. Cause she's untrustable, but no one would have known any of that had happened. Had we not I agree. Thought- and that's really the point of this. They want to investigate this laptop just so they can find something to go after Joe Biden and by extension, the democratic party with fun, exciting. Wow. So let's figure out what they're going to, what they're going to find. So, so let's break this down. 2019, <laughs> mm-hmm. there's three water damage laptops, uh, Okay. That allegedly uh, Hunter Biden brings to a Delaware computer repair shop. Yep. And the shop owner, who is a Trump supporter, sees the receipt. It's from Hunter Biden. Uh, allegedly. Why does he have three laptops? <laughs> it's like, you know, drug dealers have a couple of different cell phones. I don't know if you know that. Uh, <laughs> you're just like rich white crackheads have three laptops, like multiple laptops. You take selfies of you doing crack on different laptops he starts going through some of these files notices some pictures he's also legally blind too the the shopkeeper is (laughs) right and he can't he can't confirm that it was actually hunter that dropped it off you know but there is a receipt with what looks to be hunter's Uh, hunter's signature so you know give him the benefit of the doubt so okay yes there's a receipt and and supposedly hunter doesn't pay for the uh repair and therefore Mm -hmm. yeah yeah if you're expecting to get money from a crackhead, I can tell you from experience, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be tough. Or this is where things get legal. Now there's a moral question here too, but the laptop, multiple laptops are left there for yeah, past 90 laptops? days, so they become the, the 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 owner of the repair shop. It's now his laptop. Yes, correct? it's 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 his property works? by law. And so he starts going through this stuff, and he starts finding pictures. He starts finding emails. Like what happens next after he he sort of connects the dots of Whose, uh, whose laptop this supposedly is and what he might have on it. Okay, so this guy's name is John Mac Isaac. Oh! And like you said, he's, he's <laughs> a... Uh... Oh, shit. I don't know what you mean. I'm just... All right, we're going to just keep going because I, I can't. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be mean. All right. <laughs> he, uh, whose laptop this supposedly is and what he might have on it. Okay, so this guy's name is John Mac Isaac, and like you said, he's he's a uh, conservative Trump supporter. This is all no like, way. You know, 2019. <laughs> it's important to sort of set uh, the time frame as well. This is a, a month, I think, maybe three weeks before the election, something like that. So he's uh, he's deep into this world of of right wing politics, conservative media. He's very worried about the deep state. Uh, but decide, he talks to his dad about it, who I believe was formerly in the army. I believe. Uh, I might be wrong okay. about that. But his dad recommends that he contacts the local FBI field office. Um, so so he does that. The FBI comes by, and apparently they see. I need, like, a laptop repair person. Is this, like, normal shit? Do you, like, do people go, like, when when you get a laptop and the person doesn't pay for it and then it's yours, do you, like, just go through and look at all their shit? That seems weird. I mean, I don't know that I wouldn't do it. It just, I guess it seems weird. I don't know. Somebody help me out here. I don't know. I don't know. He's the laptop. Um, and that's it. That's the last time that the laptop was ever actually seen. Um, Mr. The Isaac FBI can't made copies of the laptop and put it onto a hard drive. So this dude has um, all the crack pictures. And then at that point, <laughs> you know, it's just got all him them. handing it off, trying to contact Giuliani. Uh, I know Steve Bannon ended up with, with a copy of it. Um, and, and then you end up with Bannon contacting the New York Post, and that's sort of how this became a thing. What, what does he think he has to begin with? He, he's got a laptop. It's Hunter Biden. But what, what, what does he think's on the, the laptop that's worthy of getting it to, to Steve Bannon? Now, according to him, he pretty much ignored the salacious pictures, the salacious oh, details, things like that. Did he? he... They, they, say, they say that this thing's <laughs> you got know he did. a ton of that, right? That all, all years and years of... Of, of pictures of Hunter with uh, uh, in sexually <laughs> compromising positions. Uh, He's on our doing, doing, Using drugs. Using drugs, things of that yeah. nature like that. That's on there. So he claims he's not interested in that. He's not interested in that. He says what he's interested okay. in more is uh, the emails, particularly about uh, uh, foreign policy type stuff, uh, Hunter's dealings uh, with, with agents of, say, China, 
Um, okay. and, and there was Burisma was the, the one thing that he was really focused on, according to Isaac, according to the repairman. And Burisma was, was an energy company where Hunter received, I mean, it's basically a no-show job, a million dollars a year, you know, a no-show job. Um, the fuck is a no-show job? I know show at job. I know have job. <laughs> I'm on a no show job. This is kind of like, I mean, even this, this isn't a job, but I mean, I still got to be here for this shit. Right. Right. <laughs> which again, which is, you know, look, that sucks. Um, and, and Does I mean, not for, not for him. No, it sounds, him, great, sounds fucking wonderful. That's like, I mean, welcome to America, right? Like, I mean, yeah, like, like the sons yeah. of politicians get million dollar a year no show jobs. And, and so it's not really that big of a scandal, but that's what they're trying to turn it into, you know? Um, and I'm not too much into like, what about, what about? But I mean, we're talking about a few months after Ivanka gets those, those trademarks. Yeah. In China and that's what I'm saying. Whatever. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Dollars, you know, things like that. So at that point it's, it, it becomes Burisma. And honestly, before this interview, um, before I started researching this stuff again, I totally forgot about Burisma, but this was like a huge thing. Burisma was the, that was the big talking that. point that they were trying to get stick before to yeah. stick before that. And I think it is it's a good point. It, it shows just how broken this system is. And I think it is yeah. true. I think folks on the left need to to look at this and there's some shady stuff that happens, but it, 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 it didn't look like there was a connection between Joe Biden having influence and the money that was paid to his son, correct? Is that but sort it, of where it stood? Yes, yeah, and it doesn't show that, but so now what they're doing is they need a thing, right? Conservatives just need a thing that they can repeat and, and what they can say. Yeah, and if you're if you if you're keeping up, kind of sounds like what he's saying is, is like, it doesn't matter whether it's true or whether or not, even if it is true, like what magnitude of, uh, of bad this is, it's just, you're supposed to just be mad, right? Like it's, is that like, I'm angry. I don't really know why, but I feel fucking justified that I am because this dude that I like told me that I was supposed to be pissed off about this. And even though I don't know the whole story, I'm going to be really mad about it because, and, and this guy actually said this once. And I thought this was amazing when they were talking about Trump and uh, something Trump had did. He was, he was on the left. He was a, he was a liberal dude. And he said, he said, now the one thing about this is I want you to understand that you should take the person that you're hearing this story about and you should put either a person that you like or a person you don't like. So let me, as an example. So I liked Obama. So if Trump does something that I don't like, uh, what was something he did? Okay, Trump wasn't showing us his taxes. Okay, let's say that was it. So if I saw a story that said Obama won't show me his taxes, would I respond to that as, yeah, who cares? He's Obama. It's all good. Like, you know, that's my dude, and, and, I, and I trust him. But then if I took Obama's name out and I put Trump in there and it said Trump won't show his taxes, does that then have the opposite effect on me and does it make me go, well, he should have to. He's a fucking liar and he's, he's a criminal and he should – because if he does, there's a problem there. Like, you should be able to substitute the names. And, yes, I do know that they're different people. But you should be able to – and, and have the same reaction because – Justice should be fair and equal. So if one person does something that's wrong, then then it's it's also bad for the other person. And if Hunter Biden is doing something that he's not supposed to be doing, or it, they're saying it's not even something he's not supposed to be doing. They're saying that he did stuff that he's allowed to do, but me and you wouldn't find it to be cool because it's fucked up because he used his parents' name to do it. And that's unfair because we have to work for what we got. So if then somebody says that about Ivanka, does that make you just as mad? Because if it doesn't, there's a problem. There's a problem. Okay. And, you know, I don't know if you remember, I think there was... And there's some there's shady stuff that happens, but it, 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 it didn't look like there was a connection between Joe Biden having influence and the money that was paid to his son, correct? Is that but sort it, of where it stood? Yes, yeah, and it doesn't show that, but so now what they're doing is they need a thing, right? Conservatives just need a thing that they can repeat and, and what they can say. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know if you remember, I think there was only one presidential debate, but in that debate, Donald Trump kept yelling, asking Biden who was the big guy, who was the big guy. And that's because there was, there was an email where Hunter said, I'm gonna set up a meeting with, with the big guy. 
And conservatives are just like, all right, that proves that's Joe Biden. Joe Biden is meeting with his business partners. Joe Biden is taking money. You know, th they say that's what all of this proves. And like, it doesn't, you know? I mean, all it proves is that Hunter Biden like was connected and got a bunch of money. And like, there's, there's, there's a scandal there, but it's not like we're impeaching Joe Biden over this stuff, you know? I mean, this, <laughs> yet, dude, yeah, yeah, we're right. probably going to. And we've gone down this route of like impeach everybody. Everybody gets impeached. Trump gets impeached. Joe Biden gets impeached. No, it like did you you see what happened with Trump? He got impeached and still nothing. <laughs> nothing. This is all fucking political theater, people. And both sides fall for it every day of their lives. To be impeaching Joe Biden over all of this stuff. Eventually, uh, yeah. Yeah, so so at that point, is, is that the smoking gun when people are talking about what is there? Are they pointing to this? This email that says, and, and maybe, am I correct that there's maybe a couple emails that reference one, the big guy, a meeting with the big guy that perhaps mm -hmm. Hunter could have, was that with, because there, there's, there's Burisma, uh, which is Ukraine, Ukrainian gas company. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. But yes. then we also okay. had, there's a Chinese, there's Chinese money in there. There's correct, Chinese, right? there was, there was a Chinese company as well. Yeah. That was in there as well. So there's a Chinese company, China. money to, to Hunter and also Joe's brother, is that correct? And yeah, I mean the whole family is kind of mixed up. In I this mean, stuff. this is shitty. This is it dude, is shitty. Where where are good where are good clean politicians? So so Joe's brother good maybe question. getting money from China. Hunter's good maybe getting money from China. I think the timeline is important here too because they're maybe getting money after Joe's out of power. When he when he wasn't in office, right? Yeah. So so. Technically, even if Joe's getting money at that point, not illegal, but right. not ideal. No, not illegal and, and certainly not ideal. I mean, I think that's that's definitely fair. But, you know, I, I mean, we're talking about this. It's like, all right, if you want to make make that type of stuff illegal, like make it illegal. But yeah. it's just it's it's not right now. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about making it illegal. How about that? Or, you know, I don't know. How about creating a set of rules and boundaries that, that you know, like, I don't even know if it's unfair. I don't. I don't. But, you know, it should, it should, it's across the board. It should be fair. It should be equal. I don't know, man. What, what I do like is him asking where the good politicians are, where the honest, morally good people are. It's a good question. It's a solid question. Definitely fair. But, you know, I, I mean, we're talking about this. It's like, all right, if you want to make, make that type of stuff illegal, like make it illegal. But it's just it's, – it's not right now. Um, and so – it's the, like that's the world we live in, you know, and it sucks. <laughs> and <laughs> like it, it sucks. sucks, but that's that's where it we're does at right suck. Now. Talk to me how the uh, how Fox and sort of the Miko uh, the the media echo chamber started to elevate this story. Yeah, so you know there was when this for story first broke, the, this had been shopped around a lot um, by I be, I'm pretty sure it was Giuliani, I guess at that point, <laughs> yeah. shopping this around. Fucking Giuliani. Wall Street Journal turned it down, so they turned it they went with the New York Post, who ended up running the story. And so why are they turning it down? This, this, even, because even, you can't even, I mean, at that point, you can't verify that uh, that it's even actually the laptop, right? Mm -hmm. And again, like, we, we got to remember, like, what we're coming off from in 2016 with... Yeah, like, it, that actually makes more sense now, because I was kind of like, at first, like, why wouldn't they run that? But I, I, when you think about it, it actually does make sense, right? Like, you come to me, and you've got a story, but... You don't have proof, you know, because I don't think he has the, does he have, he doesn't have the laptop. The FBI has the laptop. I don't think he has the hard drive or the pictures or any of those things. So it's not like he he's giving this information to him and proving it. And even if he did, if he had pictures of Hunter Biden smoking crack, it's like, I mean, is that newsworthy? That's like Kardashian shit. Like, is that what we care about? Like what people are doing in their personal lives? I mean, if that's a picture of Joe Biden smoking crack, I want to know about it. 100%. Don't need a crackhead as a president. But, dude, you know, people's kids, like, that's some personal stuff, man. That's crazy. Of course, like, a news outlet. What we have nowadays is a news outlets that kind of actually jump the gun and report things. Remember that kid in uh, the Capitol? And they're like that kid, the smirking kid, and he did all this bad shit, and he's racist and all that stuff, and then it comes out actually he didn't do like any of those things. And he like sued the Washington Post and shit. Like that's the same thing. Like people jump the gun and report stuff that isn't actually correct. So if I'm a reporter 
and somebody brings me some information and I can't verify it, then I ain't reporting that shit. I ain't going to be that dude. That's crazy. That actually makes a lot more sense now. I'm glad that I'm glad we're watching this. This is is eye opening in many ways. And again, like we, we got to remember, like what we're coming off from in 2016 with with just the flood of misinformation and nonsense. And, mm-hmm. you know, I've worked on on some pretty big uh, political campaigns. And in the last few weeks of the election, the press isn't going to just take something like out of the blue that hasn't been vetted or verified, or at least most of the press is, you know? <laughs> well, the um, press at this point was spooked because of the National Enquirer's got it. Just weeks before, correct? Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and this type of thing, there's just no way to vet it. I mean, you need time to verify that this is true. Yeah. There's actually a scandal here, and, you know, we're three, week, three weeks in. So I, I'm pretty sure that's why Wall Street Journal didn't, didn't run. So the ma- major media outlets are not running with this. They're scared mm-hmm. to run with it. Um, uh, but now here we are uh, a couple of years later looking back at this. Even this mm-hmm. week, CBS News has verified parts of information that's on the, the hard drive. They still don't have a laptop, correct? Right. Yes, correct. Um, it, it seems as if there is some verification of what was potentially there. And there's already criticism of, at the time, Facebook – uh, was limiting the yep. uh, amounts of, know about of, that. of stories that were showing up uh, around Hunter Biden's Nobody laptop. could share it, I think. I don't Nobody, think anybody could share you it. You couldn't share it, right? I think, and that was Zuckerberg at, the, at that point had been told by the FBI, uh, careful because Russian misinformation is all over the campaign or there's a potential for it, so be on the lookout for it. Like in hindsight, was there more there there than the media gave credit to? I, 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 all right, maybe there, there was more there there, but... The, what like just looking back at 2016, the firestorm that would have come out, I, there was no controversy known at that time other than like just Hunter Biden has a laptop, right? And the way that that conservative media, apparently three media, works in unison, it would have drowned out everything else, you know. But it's about that that Steve Bannon flood the zone with shit yeah. uh, strategy, you know. You just keep throwing Dude. stuff out there, and. I mean, you've got to give conservative media credit for the way that they all reply in unison, and they can make a thing out of nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, 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 the flood the zone with the shit, Bannon strategy, this feels like this was this had so much shit you could put into that zone. Yeah, it seems yeah. like you could have put a and, lot of it. And that's, you know, that's something that he actually admitted. He said, um, oh, Hunter Biden's fuck. laptop, you put your own obsessions into it, you know. So for, for Bannon, it was China. You know, he went he went after the China thing for other people. It was the drugs and, and the women, you know, and for other. And you just put whatever it is that you that is your obsession. You you channel that into like, oh, that Hunter, Hunter Biden's laptop. proof. OK, so what he's saying is, is that C. Bannon really harps on the China thing. And so that's like what he focused on, I guess. Is that what's going on there? So once again, that's just a bias, right? Like our our own bias. This is why our media today is so strange because it's so biased, like so heavily biased. It'd be great to have media outlets that just reported like, you know, the news. It's fine. Like you look at Hunter Biden, look, you don't, I don't do crack. I don't like crack. Not much of a crack dude myself. Um, And and I see pictures of people doing crack and I'm like, that person is kind of dumb. (laughs) You know, like, but I don't know. That's not me. I, you know, my mom didn't die in a car accident. My son um, or my brother didn't die of cancer recently. I, I don't know what to say about that. That's, it's so strange that that's how our media works right now. It's almost like the National Enquirer is our media now. It's like, don't you want to get upset about this? Here's some crazy stuff. Too good to be true. The drugs and and the women, you know, and for other, and you just put whatever it is that you that is your obsession, you you channel that into like, oh, that Hunter Hunter Biden's laptop proves that that's real. I love it. It's it's a MAGA Rorschach test. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> what do you it, see, see in this? See your yeah. peccadillo staring right back at you. Yeah. I think uh, that was fascinating what when Bannon has talked here? about it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He had some moral issues with the idea of of putting out some of these pictures of Hunter. I mean, this is some Steve man's Bannon? privacy. It's is his personal pictures. Uh, you know, for all the pictures of him with illicit drug use, there's pictures of like his brother's gravesite. Yep. There's all these personal emotional moments what? that this person put on their laptop, and mm-hmm. then now somebody else has. They have their search histories. They have all of these types of things. And, Dude, and I. That's weird. Like. 
Hey, if you're out there right now and you got some of those pictures and you have a picture of Hunter Biden at his brother's gravesite, that's fucking weird, dude. That's weird. Damn, we are some strange ass people sometimes, man. Human beings are weird. What are we doing, man? Don't have stuff like that on your computer. Don't don't show your friends that shit. Like that's just super strange. That's super strange and actually really fucking sad. All these personal emotional really moments that this person put on their laptop and mm-hmm. then now somebody else has. They have their search histories. They have all these types of things. And and I believe Bannon countered that with, uh, but we're at war. Yes. So you do it. And I think that's what's so fascinating and where we're so fucked <laughs> right yeah. now. Because 100%. there are legitimate things to, to be curious about with this information. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. should be critical of people who have close connections to powerful people. Uh, yes. But when it's approached by operatives who treat this not as an investigation towards justice, but as war. No yeah. one... Who are you at war with? You shouldn't be at war with us. We should all be working to make this shit good. We should all be working to make this the best possible place that we could possibly be living in. The best possible place that other people could come to and live here and benefit from all the hard work of everybody that has contributed over the 200 plus years that we have been here doing everything the things that george washington benjamin franklin teddy roosevelt the list goes on ulysses s grant abraham lincoln like you can't susan b anthony like dude you can't tell me that we've worked this hard to make this place this good just to destroy it all over a popularity contest? Y'all are crazy. Fucking crazy. That's insane. Because we're at war right now? We're not at war. It's to, to be curious that's, about that's, you're with playing this information. It. You're playing and we at should it. be critical of people who have close connections to powerful people. Uh, but when it's approached by operatives who treat this not as an investigation towards justice, but as war, then what you have is people acting with warlike tendencies who will stop at nothing to only win that benefits their side. And that doesn't benefit justice. It benefits the the, the person who is fighting and that general. At that point, that's yeah, somebody right. like Steve Bannon, who's trying to rip people off um, for building a new wall on the Mexico border at the same time. <laughs> right. Well, and you have to understand, like they're, they're not just demanding oh, that the press yeah. cover Hunter Biden's laptop. They're demanding that they cover it right now the way that I want you to, you know? Yep. And like these outlets, yep. they, they want do truth. have a responsibility to, they want to truth. vet this stuff and make sure that it's true before putting it out there. Um, especially, you know, and I don't want to repeat myself, but especially when this is something that would be used in an attempt to sway the election. Fast forward a couple months from now, uh, investigations into the laptop. Is that a good idea? For Republicans? I mean, I, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? I, that's just like targeting this one guy who is just taking advantage of the system that like we have created, right? And but so the, I, but that guy, but that guy is the president's son. Yes. There is there are connections there to some And we degree. should know there's no that we should know there's no corruption, right? Uh-huh. We absolutely should. Um at the same time, this is a system that we've got and like if you don't want nepotism babies or 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 the children of wealthy and powerful politicians to get wealthy and powerful jobs, then like we need to change the way that we do things overall. Uh, yeah, and what do we do about that? That's a that's a solid question. Like everybody like wants to complain and, and they want to bring up the problems, but nobody's got solutions. So what do you do about something like that? Is it fair to like tell people because their parents are wealthy or their their parents are in powerful positions that they're not allowed to benefit from that? I don't know. Like I'm I'm literally just asking, like that's a that's a bit of a, a, a thought experiment, right? Somebody should, you know, really put some time into that and think about that and, and see if there is something. Because let's think about solutions and stop, like, just standing here thinking about problems. Like, that's all we do is think about problems. We don't ever have, like, actual solutions. We just like to bitch and complain. Children of wealthy and powerful politicians to get wealthy and powerful jobs, then, like, we need to change the way that we do things overall. Um, and it's it's not just him. I mean, And it's not just, you know, it's not just the Trump kids either. I mean, look at the way, look at... The, you know, the way that people, uh, the Democrats buy stocks, you yeah. know, and, and then pass Close legislation. It, yeah. Like this is, it, it's everywhere. And, and so that's why, like, I feel 
just going after this one guy is um it's so disingenuous you yes know? um there you go and, but yes we right should there there's corruption yeah we should know and and if he did anything illegal we should be in jail of course if, if a they're not actually mad that a politician's son did bad shit it's disingenuous what they what they what they're acting like they don't care they they just want the other side to lose America is going to look into the Rorschach test that is Hunter Biden's mm -hmm. laptop. What do you think America begins to see and begins to pull out? It's going to be, it, it is, I mean, what we're going to see, there might be something there, but what I think is that we're just going to see bullshit from Republicans. Um, they're going to look for meetings that Hunter tried to set up with his dad, you know, and then, and then do those companies, well, do they, do they have, uh, do they have connections to Zelensky or do they have connections to Fauci or, you know, I mean, you had the, the guy who found the laptop, Isaac, he thinks that it shows, it might show proof that Hunter Biden is responsible for the COVID pandemic, that what? he was involved what? in the Wuhan <laughs> Institute of Virology and that, that it, that he was he was responsible for creating COVID and unleashing it. Like oh, this is fun. Now we're talking. Now we're now talking. We're <laughs> yeah, can we tie him to COVID? It's gonna oh, become a fun parlor shit. game. Pretty soon we're gonna be playing this at Christmas, where it's like, can you connect Hunter Biden to COVID? Okay, can you connect it to the Nets having a subpar <laughs> season this year? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there will be caravan. Go. There there will be immigration connections you know that they'll it, it's 10 degrees of separation all they need is to find something that maybe connects to george soros you oh, know fuck. and then all of a sudden like oh hunter biden is involved in the the great replacement theory mm -hmm. you know it's it's things like that so like i don't really know where it's gonna go but i can tell you it's gonna be a lot of bullshit you know i i like what it's done to the the trump family specifically the kids uh i mean i it, it's amazing to watch don jr criticize hunter biden uh, for saying like how he wishes his name was Hunter Biden so he could make money off his father's name, which is yes. it's a beautiful thing. He didn't really say that, did he? He didn't really say that. If he really said that, holy shit. And if you guys, if you guys hear a person say that and you can't figure out how fucking stupid that is, I don't know, man. I don't know, like, Donald Donald Jr. is literally literally his fucking name is Donald Jr. <laughs> you telling me that dude's he hasn't used his parent his dad's name at all? At all? Fuck out of here. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Holy shit, man. I don't know sometimes, man. I don't know. I think for somebody know. like Don Jr. to to yearn for as if that wasn't already the game plan from day one. Make yeah. a ton of money and do absolutely nothing. Except say, hey, you can meet my dad. That's a disgusting trait, right? To just use your father's Here we name go. to make money off of that? Absolutely. Nepotism needs to be looked into big time. Yes. Big time. What yes. do you think about Ivanka? Oh, she's so gracious. Yeah, yeah, totally amazing. I mean, it's <laughs> that's just what I'm talking the about. hypocrisy is amazing. Come on. But, like, that's never bothered them before, you know? And, and we're seeing reports of, uh, of the foreign government spending $150,000 at Trump Hotel, you know, and things like that. And it's yep. like... Uh, that that's why that's why I have an issue with just like going after this one person, this mm -hmm. you know Hunter, you know, just targeting him because he's the president's son essentially, and like, um, I mean that, sh that that it shouldn't happen, but like we need to be consistent here as well, I guess. Yep. How should the be media consistent. responsibly cover this as as we move forward? Essentially, what this is and what they need is you said you know when you go to a Trump rally, people are upset about Hunter Biden's laptop and they're not sure why. That's all they need. They need people to be upset about this, you yep. know, and that's, that's, that's really all, all it's for. about. And, and the investigations, you ask what they're going to uncover. I mean, Lord only knows where this is going to go. They'd actually rather you weren't educated. They don't want you to know anything because the more you know, the more you question it, the more you start to question whether or not what they're telling you is the truth. You start to kind of like you think about things and, ah, you know, maybe that's not true. I do it all the time when I'm speaking. I'm constantly kind of, you know, analyzing my own opinions. Like, is that true? Why do you believe that? Are you sure that you heard that? Did you see that somewhere? How are you influenced by that? Those are these are thoughts that go through my head. And sometimes I hesitate to speak because of that. They don't want that from you. They don't want you to hesitate to speak. They want you to go out there and tell everybody what they told you was true so that way everybody else gets just as mad as you are and as they are 
or as they are acting like they are. But where it's really going to go is just keeping that drumbeat going to keep that buzz, those buzzwords, Hunter Biden's laptop, uh, to get that reaction from from the base, you know, yeah. yep. that you're seeing it at rallies right now. Well, Fox News has been pushing this story for a couple of years now and recently did a, uh, a mock trial of Hunter Biden. What, what the hell was that all about? What? At what point did you decide what the fuck? Sir, to contact the Federal Bureau of Investigation about this matter? When the laptop became oh. the property <laughs> in uh, late July, I proceeded to what the uh, fuck is going on kind here? Of research. Is that real? Did they really do that? the trial of Hunter Biden available now on FoxNation.com? Is this a real thing? Like we ain't even search what was on it to make sure that what I had seen was what I perceived as criminal eyeball. activity. God, Sorry, I forgot bro. about that. Oh my God, it was so funny. It, I believe the kids say cringe. That shit is cringe. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, Fuck. Yeah, and they they had like a whole jury and everything, <laughs> and uh, Judge Joe hilarious. Brown was the judge. Oh no! But tell me before we let you go, like walk me through a little bit as somebody who watches this. For folks who aren't watching Hannity cover this and amplify this story, sure. how, how has Hannity taken to this in the last few years? It is. I mean, it's just the nonstop drumbeat, you know. And and I think what you have to understand about Sean Hannity is his show is just like a stream of right-wing consciousness. It is just these buzzwords. It's Nelly Orr. It's the FBI lovebirds. It's, I mean, he still talks oh, about Hillary Clinton's so. emails, you know? Really? And so he is, he really is, more so than anybody else on that network, I think, he is the king of these these bullshit conservative uh, buzzwords, you know? And throwing what are the buzzwords there, he's, what, what are the ones he's creating for the Hunter Biden story? Well, it was Burisma, you know? A couple, a couple years ago, it was Burisma. Um, now he just calls him Zero Experience Hunter. Burisma, oil and gas company, and zero experience Hunter, his 50-year-old son, Burisma, zero experience <laughs> Hunter, got millions. And that's not all. The report even found evidence linking zero experience Hunter what to alleged human trafficking. This? Quid pro quo Joe, zero experience Hunter, Burisma. Now, if you're not, if you're not Is that in a Trump that thing? bubble, in that conservative bubble, what that... That's got to be a Trump thing, right? Because Trump makes names for, like, everybody, right? Right? Hanny D didn't come up there on his own. He ain't smart enough. Zero experience hunter. Okay. All right. If you're not in that bubble, in that conservative bubble, what that refers to is he got the Burisma deal, you know, a million dollar a year, no show. All the other Without boards that experience. he sat on, okay. you know, but zero, zero experience hunter. That's Sean Hannity's thing. You know, he just keeps saying it over and over again. Yeah, and he wants you to know um, that he has he zero experience. As, and that's your, as that's your an example point. of the FBI being out of control, the DOJ targeting conservatives and not going after Democrats, how there's no such thing as uh, equal justice under the law in America. I mean, I could, I could do an entire Sean Hannity monologue right now, like just based off of uh, <laughs> Hunter's laptop, because it's the same, it's the mm. same thing every single night. But what Hannity understands is that it's that repetition. It's that repetition that leads to the people outside the Trump rallies being upset about Hunter Biden's laptop, yep. you know? You say this stuff over and over and over and over again, it just becomes accepted as truth. Um, same thing that, that you know, crime and inflation are going to be the top issues in, in the election, you know? It's just, they keep saying that stuff yep. and it becomes the reality. And, and uh, yeah, yeah, zero experience Hunter would, would definitely be Hannity's favorite buzzword though on this. And I, you know, I deal with this as well. It's, it's that balance between like, this is hilarious. This is so funny versus like, this is dangerous. And like, yeah, actually there scary we go. so many people. That's my problem right there. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's about the, the conservative movement taking advantage of those people, I think more than anything else. Mm -hmm. yeah, how much is that an element in the Hunter Biden story? Because again, what does get glossed over is this is a man's <laughs> private cachet of yeah. his, his communications, his search histories and his um, his relationship with his family and his 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 loved ones, um, it is something to just dump out everything that was on your phone or on your laptop for mm -hmm. the world to see. It feels like we don't even grapple with the idea of whether or not we should. We just jump yeah. right to whether or not we could. Whether or not it's okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And it's um, you know, as far as I know, that like you said, the, this laptop, if it if it is his laptop, it seems to be uh, acquired legally. You know, but it's it's horrifying. And, and we saw this. We've seen them do this quite a bit, actually. If you remember uh, Peter Strzok and uh, was it Lisa Page, I think they're 
like their their sex scene like became public and was was thrown up on Fox News every single night. You know, Who are they these will people? do this if they have an opportunity. I think there was also, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Biden's daughter's uh, diary was stolen, and what? that never came out because there's I'll serious kill somebody. Legal implications. I'll that murder right somebody now. if they steal my daughter's uh, Tucker Carlson's fucking journal, dude. And he sits diary. there and he he regurgitates parts of it and stuff like that. I mean, this is I, I think she was pretty young, maybe late teens, early teens when when. She was writing this, Dude, you know, if you watch that Tucker, is not throw okay. in every single once in a while, he'll throw in that uh, Hunter used to, or uh, uh, Joe used to shower with his daughter because apparently there's a passage in there about about that when she was younger, which, you know, um, but it's yeah, it's that type of stuff. It's that type, they, they don't care. They don't have morals. And that's why it's Woo! so silly for, you know, it, when when Steve Bannon said like, yeah, it kind of, it kind of feels gross, but like we're at war like. No, yeah. that's just your what justification fuck, for man. doing it. Like, I don't think it feels gross to Bannon. You know, he's a gross, disgusting guy he's a made of gross, you know, dude. spores and loose skin. Look at his ass. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know, the, 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 the Bannons and the Tuckers and the Hannity's, you know, they really speak towards family values and bringing back the morality to America and civility. And how are you going to smash the pedophiles if you don't go through the diary of a teenager? Thank God that they're all very normal people. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Well, Andrew, you thank you for talking me. to us. Yeah, of course, Jordan. This was so much fun, man. I really appreciate it. After the- all right. Well, we're going to stop there for the first episode of this. Uh, I think it's going to be probably three parts. It might be four because I'm, I'm a long-winded as fuck. Wow. We ended on a note there. Like, they went through a, a teenage girl's diary. What is wrong with you people? Like, once again, put yourself in these people. If that's your daughter and someone got to hold her, her 16. Look, if, if if there is evidence of pedophilia in that man's laptop or in that diary, then let's, then people need to be punished. Then where the fuck are we? Why aren't we seeing people getting punished? So that's a question, first of all. Second... Like, what does it say that like he takes took uh, uh, showers with his daughter? Was she saying it like that? Like she didn't feel comfortable, or was she was a young kid? Because I took showers with my daughter like when she was really young. Because I'm her father, you bunch of fucking sickos. All right, like oh, you come at me with some dumb shit like that. You better put your hands up. Like my daughter is an incredibly special person to me. She, so don't fucking that is insanity. To go through a young woman's diary. Put yourself in those people's places. Be that father. Be Hunter Biden for a minute. If there ain't shit on his laptop that actually is like, you know, nefarious and, and, and ends up being something that he goes to trial for. There's something wrong with the people that went through his shit. I, you know, he did drugs. He slept with women, whatever. Like, that's his business. It's not yours. It's not mine. And it's weird as fuck that you guys are so obsessed with this. Like, that's crazy. There's a lot in this episode. They made some great points. Uh, Klepper made some great points about the fact that 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 kids of politicians that benefit and get these contracts and how it's not fair. Uh, I, I would like to think more about that and, and whether or not there's something that can be done to, to level the playing field for those of us that, you know, pay taxes, that, that fund this system. There's definitely something that should be looked at there, 100%. Um, but I don't know that the people that are doing the reporting, the people that are involved in the process right now, I don't think they're looking out for me and you, dude. And I definitely don't think they should be going through a 16-year-old or whatever that young woman's age was, diary, and telling people about what's in it. That is none of their goddamn business. Don't come at me with that bullshit. So... Love you guys. Thank you for listening. Appreciate you guys being here. Comment, subscribe. I know it's a long episode. Hope you're still here with me. If you're still here with me, thank you very much. Um, Please come back next episode. I'm going to try and put these out once a week, every Sunday. uh, Let's say 3 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, Hope it's out there. I hope you guys are doing good out there. I hope you guys are are living a good life and, and, and you're not getting worked up by this bullshit. So, thanks guys. Have a good one.